morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. some pants on. Rocco, I recommended you to Chef Marcello personally. If he's unhappy with you, I'll get the blame. I could get fired. Ah, so what, what do we want? have here today? Oh, please. please. Briskets. You want to wait on that weirdo yes, Caruso for the rest uh, of your life? Ragu. Briskets on, one kilo. Think big, sis. This, man, all this here is just temporary. Oh, that weirdo is your boss, Rocco. So get your shit together and you're asked to work. Pronto! It's almost lunchtime! Okay!
port's been closed down. What? By ether? I mean, how can a private company close down a city morgue? <laughs> well, money talks, I guess. Well, that's not money talking. That's, that's money on a soapbox with a megaphone, you know? These, these bring the fish back to the river. My hooks come back empty every day. I need the fish to feed my family. Please, please, Mother Mary, please. Lord God, I have followed all of your teachings. I have been good and gracious and shown mercy and patience. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been seven days since my last confession. Speak, child. Yesterday, I, um... I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and a man lost his life. <clears throat> a good man. Someone I knew. He was... It was just a tiny little slip-up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel morgue, and I want to pay my respects. Say how sorry I am. But he's dead, Father, and nothing I say will bring him back. If I go, am I merely being selfish? My child, grief is for the living, not the dead. You do whatever you need to do. Because his sorrow has ended, and yours has not. Aside. I need to see the deceased. I'm under orders not to let anybody in until Ether's people have signed off on the corpse, ma'am. Could be contagious. Nonsense. I am Ether's people. The corpse, as you so delicately put it, was my friend. Now I am going to say my goodbyes. All right, fine, lady. If something happens, it's on you. Salve, my friend. Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. <laughs> 